on a beautiful and quite frosty day in the mid 80s our director along with the district committee instructor the chief engineer and the head of the department decided to go to the forest logging site for a small inspection about five kilometers before the site the road was blocked by a skidder with logs while the tractor was diligently clearing the snow making way for the uazier type of vehicle the management stepped out for a smoke they also called over the tractor driver who had managed to move the skidder off the road in the frosty air the instructor sniffed and said eh, he's drunk mm. indeed he's drunk mm. the director confirmed after sniffing too Nikola Lyanko hand over the tractor today and tomorrow take the first timber truck to the settlement. I'll fire you under Article 33. The tractor driver seemed to want to mumble something, desperately pointing at the tractor without windows and doors. But seeing the stern faces of the management, he waved his hand in despair and headed to his iron steed. The situation escalated as... A minute later, the tractor driver returned with a decent crowbar. Ignoring the open mouth bosses, he hit the Uaz's windshield with the crowbar. Then the side window scratched his nape and took out the rear window too. Then he silently climbed into the cabin and thrust the crowbar into the heater's fan. After inspecting his handiwork, he seemed quite satisfied and pulling out a barely open bottle of vodka from his bosom, handed it to the still open mouth director. The tractor roared, enveloped in blue smoke, and disappeared around the bend after about five minutes. It was 45 kilometers to the settlement. The frost was below 30. They drank the vodka after about five kilometers, and upon arrival, they fired the department mechanic, warning the chief mechanic that he would be next if. Within two days, all tractors in the departments weren't equipped with windows. Doors, and of course, heaters. No one mentioned a word about the tractor driver. 